Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with mining Ethereum super quickly and just how easy it is to actually start mining Ethereum. Um, I've been mining Ethereum on my personal computer for a few months now I've been, and I've made um, a couple hundred dollars and it's been great. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's just get started. I'm sure you've done your research if you're looking this stuff up. So let's just get Oh my god, there's so much nonsense on my thing. I just realized. But anyway, <laughs> lol miner and MetaMask. Basically, MetaMask is the wallet that will store your Ethereum, and lol miner is the actual software that will mine the Ethereum for you. So let's go ahead and download both those things. I've already downloaded both of them before and deleted them for the purpose of this video. So yeah, here's the actual GitHub build. If you're on Linux or Mac or something, you might need to look through this. If you're on Windows, this should be just fine for you. Here are the changes and fixes of the latest update. So 1.26 is what you want. Most likely you want the Windows 64. So go ahead and download that. Now obviously if you maybe have never used a computer before, you might need something like 7-zip or WinRAR or something like that to actually extract the files. So let's go ahead and go to our downloads. And here it is right here. So if you don't have 7-zip or WinRAR, you need it. Go ahead and get it and then I'll just extract it right here and here it is this is what we need now this is actually the miner itself this is what we're going to use to mine so let's go ahead before we can mine obviously we need to send our crypto somewhere so we're going to head over and set up our metamask wallet now so what's great about this is it's used by a lot of people it's very secure and it's built right into chrome it's literally a chrome extension so add to Chrome, go ahead. There you go, it'll add itself in just a moment. There you go, MetaMask is here. Get started. Uh, most likely you're gonna be creating a new wallet to store your Ethereum. Very important stuff. This is how you know MetaMask is useful, I agree. So create your password for MetaMask. This is just local to this system. So I'll just create some random password here. I've read and agreed, create. Now this is very important. If you're new to crypto and wallets and stuff, you need this absolutely. Make sure you store this somewhere secure. These secret words, if you ever you know reset your computer, get a virus, or accidentally uninstall MetaMask, you'll need these to actually get your wallet back. If you don't have these, you don't have a prayer at getting access to your wallet. I'm sure you've heard a lot of stories of people losing their wallets doing just that let me go ahead and just half and half this and there you go they're gonna ask you right away because it is very important don't just you know go right past it so let's see glow square foil go ahead there you go your wallet is set up and you're done in less than a minute now this is I can't tell you how important this is by you knowing this you can hack into my wallet actually so feel free to do that I'm not gonna be using it but keep this somewhere safe, secure, somewhere no one will ever find it, and somewhere you can find it. If you lose it, you do not have a prayer at getting the amount, whatever money is in here, it's gone, it's finished. So here it is, here's the wallet key as well. This is the address. If people want to send you crypto, they'll send it here. Wallet address, and you will be sending the crypto you mine right there. Let's call this the C phrase. And you're gonna probably not save it on the computer you're mining with. This is obviously just an example. Let's just call it Joseph. I don't know why. And there it is. We'll keep that. We'll need it in just a moment. Let's go back here. So we are mining Ethereum, right? If you have a four gigabyte graphics card, play with this. I'm on a 1080, so I would be using this one. Okay, so we can't just start right away. We need to actually tell the miner where to send our Ethereum and where to mine it from. So go ahead and click edit here. This is what's beautiful about this software and kudos to the people who developed it. It is very easy and laid out well for you. You need to change a few things in here. So head on over to ethermine.org. Oh shit, dot org. Okay, this is the pool that you'll be mining from. So just click start mining and this is everything you need to get started or almost everything. I'm in Toronto so I use US East. Figure it out for wherever you live, and the pool will go right here. 
Okay, make sure you do it exa exactly as I do it. Stratum port, replace 2020 with the Stratum port, 4444. Four, four, four. Now the wallet is the actual wallet that you just created right here. Here's my wallet address. Paste it from MetaMask if you want. It is the same thing. Go ahead, paste it exactly where I'm pasting it so you know you're doing everything right. Okay, you paste to your wallet, you paste to your pool, and you paste to your stratum port. You're actually done. You are ready to mine, surprisingly enough. That's all it took. That was like, what, five minutes, six minutes? Go ahead and save that, and go ahead and click it when you're ready. So your Windows uh, antivirus thing might pop up, your Norton might pop up. Uh, obviously, it's not a virus. Thousands of people use it. Go ahead and open it up. Okay, here it is running. Bro. Done. Finish DAG gen on GPU zero, and it has started mining now. Now I'll let I'll let it run for 30 seconds and we'll see the speed that the 1080 gets without the enlargement pill or without any overclock. So it'll start very slow but it'll ramp up. I think this graphics card does about 20, 19 to 20 without its overclock. But let's just run it for just a second to see how we're doing. The text is kind of small on the ultra wide. I hope you can see it all right. So yeah, it'll give you the average speed it'll ramp up and this is just all the information about your PC here so new job looking for a job there you go it ramped up to 17 and let's just wait a bit till it actually finds a share of Ethereum so you know what that looks like and you know everything is working well and there it is found a share of difficulty 4.26 G share accepted you have congratulations when you see this you have officially mined Ethereum and that is going to go into your ether mine and into your wallet so congratulations you've started mining ethereum and by the way uh, i'm not going to show you in this video this is just a beginner intro but you can do a lot better than this this is completely stock uh if you have a 1080 uh, enlargement pill is the easiest but there are a lot of ways now let's actually tinker with ethermine a little bit let me copy my wallet address again minor address let's paste it in here and go ahead and enter that and there it is this is actually the page where you can see everything about your ethereum workers and your wallets it takes probably 10 minutes to actually update and whatnot now looking at settings real quick while that updates or whatever we can set up the settings here most likely if you have just one graphics card on one pc you have to set it to at least 0 0.1 ether to cash out to your metamask wallet you probably won't hit it before this 14 day threshold one zero point zero one ETH will automatically be paid out to you. So set it to 0 .0, 0 0.1, whatever it is, and it'll just automatically pay out this much in 14 days, or if you're mining a lot, this much in seven days. And you'd go ahead and click submit. Please fill out this field. Oh yeah, you have to do that when this thing is set up. I'm not gonna show you that. It's pretty easy to do this part. So yeah. And just to show you, my miner is obviously not active because I deleted everything to make this video. But this is uh, not even the correct numbers. This would be at around 30 with a enlargement pill. So this is $2 at only 21 MH. At 30, it would probably be closer to $3. So consider that $3 USD a day is what you can expect on a 1080 with the enlargement pill. So, you know, just a little bit in here. Uh, just cashed out or whatever but yeah this is what it will look like when you get going it'll show your estimated earnings per day week month whatever it is and your unpaid balance your work is active obviously it's not connected to this so yeah you have a lot of information here so yeah once you reach the threshold which is uh, 0 0.01 every 14 days it'll go straight to your metamask wallet which you can then move over to whatever you want. You can take it to your brokerage to trade for US dollars. You can put it in an interest account, uh, really whatever you want. A lot of people don't recommend just moving it straight from your miner to your brokerage. So I don't do it. I go from MetaMask, leave it there if I want to, and usually I just throw it into my BlockFi interest account. So yeah, if you want to know how to actually optimize your ethereum that you make and profit as much as possible from the mining so it's not just mining profits 
it's either proof of stake or interest or trading, then stay tuned. I'm going to make a video on that soon. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, I hope it was very simple and easy to follow because I really want to push the idea that it is so easy to start mining that everyone should just might as well do it because if you have the hardware, it's sitting there basically as a free money printer if you want to think of it that way. And yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, problems, let me know in the comments and I'll do my absolute best to help you out with whatever it is.